out here today looking at a dandy little compact 1911 pistol from Taylors and Company. You know, Taylors and Company have been making uh, or importing uh, for many years reproduction uh, 19th century type farms, lever actions, and single action revolvers, things like that. But they've got into the 1911 market now, and they've got a wide variety of them. But this one is the nearest. It's a little compact 9mm 1911 pistol. It's got a, a it's solid steel, got a good heft to it. There's no lightweight anything on it. It's uh, it's built built pretty uh, pretty right. Uh, it's got a let me get this safety off. It's got a cone barrel on it, which uh, eliminates the barrel bushing. Got an excellent set of sights on. The rear sights adjustable for windage and elevation, so you can tune your load to fit it right. The uh, uh, barrel's throated. The feed ramp's polished. Uh, it's got a, a, guide, a steel guide rod in it. The front sight, by the way, is a drift adjust. We can drift it out and put in a tritium night sight or something you want to. The uh, safety on it is uh, for right-hander only, but it's standard 1911. If you need to fit a uh, ambidextrous safety on it, you can easily do so. You can order them from Brownells, places like that that give good deals on those things. Got a upswept beaver tail grip safety, uh, checkered mainspring housing, smooth on the front. It's got a nice trigger on it, and the trigger pull on this thing really surprised me. You know, this uh, gun at this price point, I wasn't expecting that good a trigger. It comes in at three and three quarter pounds. Check, uh, check this here. Get that mag out. Safety off. Just as crisp a trigger as you could get from a custom gunsmith on this little uh, Arms Corps uh, pistol. Arms Corps makes these for tailors and uh, all their 1911s are made by Arms Corps. And Arms Corps is one of the largest, if not the largest, 1911 manufacturer in the world. They make a lot of them. All the Rock Islands, things like that, come from Arms Corps. It's a really well made little pistol. Uh, it shoots really well. I had to, uh, it's been perfectly reliable except for the first magazine. I had one failure to feed hung up going in just on the first magazine. Since that, it's been 100% reliable with everything I've tried in it. Hollow points, uh, round nose, uh, standard pressure. Plus P, plus P plus, it shoots it all. It comes with two eight shot magazines, but I've also been using these Metgar mags in here. You know, Metgar is a manufacturer. They make magazines for just about all of the major gun makers in the world. Metgar makes some magazines for them. They make uh, just thousands and thousands of magazines. And these are some 10 shot 1911 9mm magazines. Work perfectly in this pistol. So if you're carrying extra mags, you might as well carry 10 shot ones instead of eight shot ones. Have a uh, extra in there. It sticks out a little bit, of course, when you when you're carrying it. But you know it don't matter as far as concealed carry because the time you've already run your first nine shots through there and go to your extra magazine, everybody pretty much knows your position and that you're carrying a gun anyway. So if you're carrying extra mags, I highly recommend those Met guards. They're good mags, work 100% reliable. A holster I've been using with this, I really like. And I got a picture of it on here. We can blend in. It's a little Galco. Uh, slide holster. It's uh, really compact, uh, unobtrusive. You know, you pull your gun out, it don't even look like you wear anything under your shirt. And even with the shirt on, uh, it don't print really bad. It uh, uh, carries any size 1911, and uh, it's a, a good little well-made holster from Galco. Just throw that in there so you know that. Um, anyway, check these little pistols out at Taylor & Company. Uh, you can see their full line of 1911s there. They got full size, they got compact, they got 45, they got 9 millimeter. So check them out. We'll shoot a little bit, show you how it runs. Recoil, it's, it's really easy to control. One thing, 9 millimeter, not that much recoil anyway. And the uh, this thing being all steel, it gives it a good heft. It uh, helps tame that recoil, what recoil it is. It makes it really easy to shoot, easy to control, 9 millimeter. Comes these. Uh, Checkered double diamond wood stocks on here. I recommend putting on a set of Crimson Trace laser grips. Or Hogue has a similar grip now. They have a, a grip with a laser in it. Hogue or Crimson Trace either. Both make some good grips. You want to put a laser on your pistol and it don't change whatever holster or anything you need. It doesn't it doesn't make it any more obtrusive at all. And uh, I like a laser, especially on a compact pistol. And everything I carry is going to have a laser grip on it because uh, it really helps, you know, in in the uh, uh, dark conditions or whatever where if you can't see your sights you can still see where that bullet's going if you're laying on your back and having to shoot around a corner you can still see where that bullet's going and if you have to make a precise shot at 25 yards in the dark that uh, a laser on there really helps so you can get grips for these 
and, and put them right on there. You need the compact, the short one. I'm not sure if Hogue has a short one or not, but I know Crimson Trace does. You can get that fitted on this little pistol. Uh, anyway, we'll shoot a little bit, show you how it runs, and uh, recoil, how it hits. So as far as the accuracy of this thing, it's really action. I didn't do any uh, ransom rest group testing with it, but I could tell just shooting is on at 25 yards for just about everything I put in it. Hit really well with this little pistol. So we'll shoot a little bit, run a little bit, and check them out at Taylor's. I'm gonna shoot some Buffalo War plus P plus stuff out of here. This is 115 grain bullet running pretty close to 1400 feet per second, even out of this short barrel. That's another thing I want to mention. This compared to a five inch barrel, it doesn't lose much at all, if any, with this short barrel. Nine millimeter is so efficient of a little cartridge. Works really well out of here and, and you're not sacrificing uh, any velocity to make a difference by going with this shorter barrel. Still real easy to control with the plus P plus stuff. Good stuff. Maxwell House, good to the last drop.